Lesson 10, AC Circuit Analysis Section 10.3, Loop Current Method Let's apply the loop current method to this circuit. Identify the independent loops. Let's select loop 1 and loop 2. For the definition of an independent loop, refer to section 3.2. Assign a loop current to each loop. In this circuit, I1 and I2 are assigned. Express I1 and I2 as functions of Z1, 2, 3, V1, and V2, by applying Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL for short, to each loop. According to KVL, around loop 1, V1 equals Z1 plus Z3, times I1 minus Z3 I2. Around loop 2, negative V2 equals negative Z3 I1 plus Z2 plus Z3, times I2. These two equations are rearranged into a matrix equation. We call this matrix, the impedance matrix. I1 and I2 can be obtained using the inverse of the impedance matrix. Exercise 10.3.1 Pause the video, and follow the instructions. The answer to exercise 10.3.1 Pause the video, and check the answer. Exercise 10.3.2 This is your homework. Derive V4 as a function of Z1, 2, 3, V1, 2, and 3, by applying the loop current method. Experiment 10.3 Pause the video, and follow the instructions. The answer to experiment 10.3 Pause the video, and check the answer. Pause the video, and check the answer. If R squared equal L over C, then the impedance ZAB becomes R. These are the waveforms in the cases where F equals 10 Hz and 200 kHz. The voltages across the nodes A and B, VAB, were in phase with the source voltage V in both cases. The author of this material is Takeshi Furuhashi, Professor Emeritus, Nagoya University. If you have any questions, send emails to this address.